Hello, welcome back to Ben Switch Love Noding. In this episode, I want to share this note setup. So basically, it creates like a kind of like letters on curve. Okay, currently it's not it's not perfect yet, but I think it could be uh, could be improved in the future. Um, so basically, let me if if I delete the bottom part. Now we have the like the top part, and it says "Hello World." It's a bit inverted, uh, but okay, you can always read it from the bottom and the rest of the part is really just like an, an additional thing so so I basically started with this uh, circle right and we don't actually need this control options right click to cut that part now we, are, we have only this font letters on the curve okay so what's going on here I set the spline uh, from cyclic so I turn off the cyclic and I trim I trim the curve. So this is the, the whole process. And then I'm resampling the curve based on the, the domain size of the, the the number of the letters. Okay, so this is important. So <clears throat> no matter so we have this curve, right? No matter um how many letters we assign, for example, if we just change this uh, to blend, blend the world or something um, this domain size will tell the length of the instance and then use that as the count for uh, resampling the curve and then we just simply instance the this text on the curve points okay if I use another geometry and Type this out like that we should have a line so that's the original line and we are simply instancing the letters on top of this okay so we can control the text so more or less it's kind of working but it's not perfect like I said uh, it could be better let me use this and select all of this Duplicate. I want to make the other text, and this should say Susan the monkey. Okay, but the text is in reverse, right? So I don't know. I have to adjust this. So it says Susan the monkey and blend the world. It's kind of funny. Um, RZ 180 RY 180 so it's reverse so we have the text and that basically what it is and we can this recover this control options right click so it's kind of like a mint um, if you make like a coins this is basically what it is and you can actually create like a, the pattern on the coins as well using the similar similar methods instance on points um, but yeah the, the text text on path needs to have its own nodes I guess for now it's basically this is one way to do it it's not perfect but it's sort of okay if you adjust the size it might look kind of decent to make like a text on on the rounded path you still have a bit of control there so yeah what I did here is, is to use the curve tangent and aligning aligning the text on the curve it's not perfect but it's okay um, I, I rotated 180 degrees here maybe I should have used reverse if you use reverse, actually, that's uh, one thing to know. If you use reverse, yeah, you have that kind of effects. So reverse curve might be what you want, and you can, yeah, kind of play around with that. These rotations. It seems to be like an offset, but it's overall it seems work okay so let's bring this back 
maybe I have to make this maybe I should have scale this part <clears throat> that's the curve that's coming in so I need to adjust this and maybe offset it it's very rough but uh, yeah this is basically the step to create like a kind of like a coins like a minted coins uh, we can definitely make this make this a little bit better okay yeah this kind of effect is not bad so you see the effects of fill and no fill Alright, so hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.